them, baby, don't you see? You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee. Don't this look like a don't this look like a very uh, familiar scenario here? Going to Tennessee, but not because it was planned. Well, we're leaving the neighborhood. Oh well. Oh, you're recording. I am recording oh, I right now. No. <laughs> and Bandit, are you excited to leave? Yeah, he knew we were leaving. He was like, "Yeah, I'm coming." Well, I had to get a new battery. Oh, thank you. I had to get a new battery for the car before we could leave. And the shotgun shells are swinging. Well, it's a good thing the uh, the neighborhood was very concerned with our safety. They wanted to make sure that our garbage cans were put behind the porch. Shout, shout out to Creekside for their concern. It's great. Bandit, you ready? Let's go. Alright guys, we just got on the interstate, oh copyright, and I'm trying to film both interstate lanes open, hold on, I think I see a car, come on now, um, so we're on the right side where we normally drive, and is that car, oh there it is, boom, the interstate's open only one direction. But I didn't really want to drive over there because it's ain't England. Well, guys, we are, I don't know. I don't even know where we're at. I know I'm tired. I'm like, tired. I just want to take a nap in the car, but I'm about to drive again. While Bandit does his stuff, I don't know. We're somewhat toward Atlanta. I think we have like another hour we hit Atlanta and then you know I don't know 260 270 miles from our destination but at least we're out of the hurricane zone so I guess that's a good thing so let's get back on the road yay visit traintomorrow.com or call 888-FIX-JETS What do you mean, wait? <laughs> what you got? What you got there? Oh, barbecue. Mm -hmm. Hi, look here. And sun drop in a cup. And sun drop in a cup. Yeah, we got sun drop on tap. All right, so here is. I'm in one over there somewhere. It is that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you gonna look see which one? That's back many years ago. Let me see. You got, to, you got to take off the beard. Take off the beard? Oh, you're point, you got pointing right at Okay, brown. Oh, I was looking. Oh, no. Right there. Nope. Uh, there? Yep. <laughs> hey, she got it on the second try. Right here. See, that's the brown eyes. Yeah, that was me. Oh, look, guys. This one. Yeah. Yeah, good old Jiffy Burger. Yeah, y'all got a lot of pictures up now, Jiffy Burger teams. Yeah. What's your name? Huh, Jordan. Carter. Jordan Carter. Well, this is the famous Normandy Bridge here in Tennessee. And uh, this is the catwalk. 
lot of spray paint covers have been done here, fellas. That's right. Even every rail will be completely covered in spray paint all the way down. It's just what we do here. Spent a lot of time jumping off here. Babe, did you ever jump off this one? Yeah, I jumped off the road hundreds of times. Babe, did you ever jump off this one? No, besides the rope. Oh, you did the rope down there? We'll go down there in a minute. All right. It just, it'll, make you, it'll, make, it'll make you sick if you look down so long. What'll make you sick if you look down? I don't even know what this is going to look like on camera. But, yeah. So, I would stand up here on the road. Jump over the catwalk. Down into there. Like I said, camera probably doesn't do it any justice. But, you know, it's pretty far. We always knew not to jump off the other side because there was an old bridge that was in there. A lot of spray paint. I'm not even gonna try to look for mine. Just what? look how long it takes to drop. Three. Get it. What are they doing? Taking pictures over there? Okay, now I jumped down from there for oh, many years. Many years. Down here, you swim to the bottom and climb up. What are you scared of? <laughs> she saw. She looked down. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go down under. Down under. Is there a rope? Oh, oh yeah, there is definitely that's a rope. That's what Mom was talking about. Can we do it? Can we mean? Can we do it? I'm not in swimming stuff. Look, guys, even underneath is spray painted. Look, every bit of it. Always is. Always has been. Anyway, so there's a rope swing. It's been here for a hundred years. What did you think the first time you went down? And we don't have to worry about gators here. That's the uh, that's my favorite part. What did you? Uh, yeah, a huge catfish that'll eat you. But I'll take that chance. What do you What's painted? He didn't even make it in, but it broke in half. I must say, it didn't even make it to the water. Yeah, it was heavy. So that was that was yeah. failure at its best. Oh, I got this one. That's flat. Why didn't you get a round one? Yeah, the, the round ones. The round ones roll better. This is our lake where we do a lot of our boating and a lot of our swimming. You swim in this? Of course. Ooh, you. What do you mean, you? It's cleaner than the ocean. Yep, this is one of the little inlets here. Oh, oh yeah, Tennessee just got some huge waves. Blah. I was going to say, in the wildlife, we've caught a wildlife. At least it's peaceful. Except for Kira screaming at the rocks. <laughs> Are you fascinated by the splashes of rocks? Maybe. I've seen you drop that elbow when you threw it too.
Right here. All right, and we're live with the dirty lens. Guys, <laughs> I've not had my phone on. And what? What time we go over? I don't know. A day and a half now. At, at least a day. I went Caden here, learned to drive a four wheeler by himself yesterday. And uh, I followed him, and my phone decided to go through all the mud puddles. So. Boom. Oh, yeah, and here's Steven's new truck. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Look here. I got two roofs. And you got plenty of room back here? Stretch your feet out. Oh, can you? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, that's a big old back seat now. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a Ford. But it's a good Ford. And we, uh... Hey, that's what we started out in, wasn't it? Red Ford. I didn't always have a Chevy. I had a Red Ford. This one drove better than the GM anyway. Now, and he said this one drove better than the GMC, so plus it's got red on the seats. Red stitching. And red, it's red on the seat belt. <laughs> oh yeah, look at look at him got red on the seat belt. Look at hey. It's down America. <laughs> you look like you're way back here. I am. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> say hi, YouTube. No? Bandit, you gonna say hi or you gonna be rude? Hmm? You gonna say hi? No. There you go. My head's sunburnt. Check it out. I'm gonna go show you why. Hi, babe. Oh, it's bright. All right, so my buddy wanted this done. So we got her done. Sorry about the glares and all that. It's really bright. So, after about 3,900 pounds and a lot of digging, we have made the man pit. Two layers in the ground, three layers above ground. 3,900 pounds worth of stones. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, but hey, we did it. Boom. Fire pit official. We still gotta move the top layer. Everything else has got liquid nails holding it in place other than the top layer. We're weighing it down. And uh, we still gotta come back and glue the top, but hey, I've been keeping her busy. And I didn't have a cell phone at the time, so working was just about the only option. Hey, Hi. I was showing him the man pit. Right. Uh, the two tons worth of the two the two tons worth of manhood that went into it two tons worth of man my back's dying now <laughs> mine too it's, yeah hey gates are you a monkey look right here are you a monkey <laughs> oh, happy 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 tell america he's like no umbrella hey hey well we i can hop on that bus and go back to tennessee Bye. You'd be riding with that bus load of girls. So we are on our way home back to South Carolina. And uh, we had our first stop, which is like 100 miles in. And uh, everybody had to stop for a bathroom break. And we're hoping that traffic doesn't get too bad on the way back. But I've not been able to upload to YouTube, guys. Uh, like I said, in some previous clips I had some phone issues aka mud puddles and four-wheeler and uh, it just didn't work out I tried not to get my shoes muddy because I wasn't dressed to go back through the woods and stuff because I had my only clean tennis shoes with me didn't have any boots on so I put my feet up on the fender and got stuck and got muddy and then my phone came up missing so yeah well you weren't on a Raptor either but anyway we on the way home, and uh, when I get there, 
I'll, I don't know, I'll try to upload a short something to let you guys know I'm back and uh, back in action. So we'll see you guys on the way or when we get there. Holy moly, we are finally back home. And my back is killing me, guys. Like, I thought I needed to get home and just pop it, but as soon as I touched it, I was like, yep, yeah, that's a no-go. The traffic jam on the way here, once we got close to the Carolinas, was insane. It had us all just ready to get out and run. Like, it was, guys, it was horrible. I'm not going to lie. I told her, I said, this is the worst trip back you know period of what we've made it was it was it was bad and uh right before we got into atlanta it started to rain the roads were wet we were following you know obviously hundreds of cars and then my wife says oh 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 and i look up and you just hear brakes squealing and the car right in front of us rear ends the car in front of it at a dead stop doing 50 60 miles an hour hits three more cars totals three cars hit the car so hard and i had to go in the left lane around them in the emergency lane thank god she said thank god you were driving i thought thank god i was driving too but we got home safe we did see three wrecks one really bad that was the car right in front of us and uh we made it safe so i'll upload a little something tonight just to let you guys know i'm home we're back home safe and Everything's good. We did come home to both of our doors unlocked and a house key sticking out the front door. I might have to figure that out, but other than that, we'll see y'all later. Oh, 
you better treat that girl right So if it sweeps you off your feet in your camouflage gown You can bet your diamond ring that he gon' put a knee down Have you ever seen the moon and the stars from the back of a Chevrolet? With some George Jones on and a phone on Rome and the bills are paid If it ain't never felt right like it did tonight, then baby don't you see You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee